Cardinal elect Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrand visited the Pilar Hillock for the first time after being named as cardinal by Pope Francis. His eminence was received by Reverend Father Sebastian Mascarenes, the Superior General of the Society of Pilar. Father Valent Azevedo, the oldest member of the Society, welcomed His Eminence with a bouquet of flowers. A Konkani song, Yokar, was sung by the Pilar Fathers. On behalf of the Society of Pilar, the Superior General congratulated the Cardinal-elect Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrand. As soon as members get to know that I wrote a letter, I immediately got a phone call to say, when are we going to meet him to congratulate him for such an enthusiasm? And then when we thought that we would uh, felicitate, not felicitation yet, but that we would congratulate our Archbishop here, the Baptist told me, all the old fathers and ancestors who are normally going to come down and say, we are going to come down and say, Archbishop then shows the great joy in uh, that the Pope had chosen the grace to be Arno. And uh, it is the honor for the church of Goa. I want to know that in the first time that Goa has a time. I'm extremely happy. The Archbishop here. Patriarch this then addressed the gathering. And in this the law of the Lord, for more than one reason. Because first of all, the society of Pilar is to my mind the missionary branch of the church of the Lord. And your missionary zeal should revive the missionary dynamism of the Catholic of the Church of the Lord. After meeting the members at the Pilar Monastery, his eminence proceeded to the All India Mission Seminary to inaugurate the new seminary year 2022-2023. It began with a solemn Eucharistic celebration. A beautiful theme has been chosen for this new academic and formation year which we are about to begin, to be transformed in Christ. And this theme draws inspiration from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, chapter 5, verses 17, which, where St. Paul says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. On this occasion, five seminarians received the ministries of acolyte from the Archbishop. At the end of the Eucharist, the professors of the Pilar Theological Seminary took the oath of fidelity. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. Later, a special inaugural program was held in the Albert Hall. May I request you to rise and applaud as we welcome the chief guest of the day, His Grace Cardinal-elect Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao, accompanied by the Superior General and Rector. His Eminence was felicitated by the Superior General. The shawl represents the mission of the society and all the people our missionaries stand to. The Archbishop invoked God's blessing by lighting the lamp. During this program, the annual magazine Yuntes Docete was released by the Archbishop Patriarch and the handbook for the year 2022-2023 was released by the Superior General. This was followed by the unveiling of the theme and logo for the new seminary year. Later, the scholastics presented a melodious instrumental and mandal dedicated to the Cardinal-elect.
The annual lecture brevis, the inaugural lecture, was delivered by Rev. Father Santosh Mendonca, the newly appointed Director of Studies at the Pillar Theological Seminary. And we call this study a method of interpreting scripture or reading the scripture as ecological hermeneutics. At the end of the program, His Eminence addressed the gathering. Be good stewards in the sense custodians, trustees, and one of the principles that Santosh was giving is principle of mutual custodianship. The program ended with the singing of the Pillar Anthem. Let's march forth be the future forces to unite our beloved mother India as we arm with the weapons of sanctity to bring Christ and his peace to our land.